वेलकम बैक टू अनादर पार्ट ऑफ द करियर मोड इन दिस वन वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द टी ट्वेंटी लेग ऑफ दिस लॉन्ग श्रीलंकन सीरीज इट फील्स लाइक विथ स्पीन गोइंग फॉर एवर नाउ वी जस्ट हैव थ्री टी ट्वेंटीज लेफ्ट वी हैव वन द टॉस एंड चोज टू बॉल एंड वी आर इन ए वेरी गुड पोजिशन दिस स्कोरिंग इट लेस दैन सिक्स रन आर ओवर बट दे हैव मेड वन मिस्टेक दे हैव गिवन मी द बॉल एंड आई स्टार्ट ऑफ विद ए नो बॉल नाउ ए फ्री हेड ट्राइज टू पोल इट बट जस्ट नॉट देर दैट वॉज टू फोल That did not end up in complete disaster. The run rate is only five point six zero here. Whoa! What was that? That was what a horrible ball, and it just kept moving away and a wide as well. I've already managed to bowl a no ball, give a free hit, then bowl the worst possible ball, all in the span of three deliveries. And there we go. That's gone away for four as well. This has been a horrible start. Already given away twelve runs, two deliveries to go. Oh, that was quick and on the money as well. A little bit of swing. It was full. It pitched on off stump and then just left the batsman. Had it gone straight, it would have knocked the off stump out. So I don't think I'll get a lot of overs here. Maybe only two. That's been flicked in front of square over mid wicket. And one bounces and goes away for four. And bowling at such pace, if they get some bat on it, they're gonna get at least four. These two have recovered the Sri Lankan innings somewhat. They're now scoring at six point eight five. Yeah, wait, that's out. I did not think that was out at all. It was just a half-hearted appeal. But I guess it's gone. Are they gonna review it now? Oh, well, that's plum in front. I thought it was a lot higher, but no, that is, that's hit him, below the knee roll, and he was on the back foot. That was gone. We get number one for us. We have made somewhat of a comeback after giving a no ball in the first ball, and that's wicket number two as well. He's flicked it, timed it, middled it, but the only problem was he hit it straight to deep square leg. Well, two wickets in this over. What a comeback this has been. After giving away nine runs of the first two deliveries, I think. No, actually, the, after the first delivery, I gave away nine runs. I can tries to go over extra cover, but that ball came in sharply. Just did not give him any room. Beautiful in swing at at pace as well. Sri Lanka one thirty eight for seven. Actually, they will be happy with the score after. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Wicket number three. Now we are just collecting tail enders as trophies here. This was not the greatest of balls. Maybe if he could have hung back on the back foot and punched it away, but we'll take our third wicket. Let's go. Only two runs of this last over. Another edge. Four runs, but still only six runs, and we've managed to take two wickets of that over. This has been a good bowling performance. Hopefully, I get a chance to bat. We do. Look at that strike rate. That is an ugly strike rate in T20 cricket. 44 required or 49 the keeper comes charging in that's a good way to start your innings a nice cut we don't need to do anything anything here at all we all we need to do is just take singles knock the ball around and we'll get to the target comfortably there we go sri lanka operating with spin on both ends and both of them are pulling a lot of short deliveries punched off the back foot miss field and we'll come back for two and successfully as well the bowler was not very fast that should have been a run out 41 of 46 hopefully i get some strike can tosses the ball up gives it a lot of air but i don't need to hit the ball in the air at all i can just do that and hopefully I get the strike back now the match is almost done and that's when i get the strike back that shot and cut another miss field and we'll get two runs we need we need another 11 runs of 29 need seven here can we finish it off in style shot ah and that is the first time i think i've gotten out in t20 cricket I didn't get out in that whole series against South Africa. Our average must be really high. Really bad innings, nine of thirteen, but we got the win, and I am the man of the match for some reason. Why? I did take three wickets, but then that horrible innings should have cancelled out my good performance with the ball. 
not not at all this team is the worst well we are just sleeping all the way through to the next t20 game we won the man of the match by some miracle this time we are batting first my average as you can see is 32 and i think i've only scored 32 runs in my entire career that's been flicked and we'll get off the mark we have six overs to bat here and if i get even half the ball to face that would be what 18 deliveries hopefully we can get to a quick fire 30 here full i just need another two three balls to get used to the wicket well, he was very quick and because of that i attempted to that never looked like it was gonna be successful but he covered the first run so fast i thought there was a chance but we will claim our first victim and get our partner run out full again try to loft that straight try aim for the side screen barely got through too long off and that will be only a single this is a pretty good field and they're bowling well as well and it's spinners at least on this end they're scoring at 8.29 just need a little boost here went for it but he was quicker for some reason he's only bowling at 118 k's how was i late on that but doesn't matter we'll get two runs not that bad of a result can we get to 170 from here we should that's been hit straight down the ground doesn't look like it's a big boundary but still not enough power to go away for four another two now they have all the protection in the world on the leg side ah, that's a beautiful ball I thought it was early but the game is telling me it was late. Now I need the strike back so I'm not going to simulate here. Let's hope I... Oh boy. He's gone for a scoop and that will be four I think. No it won't be. We'll get three runs and get the strike back so a win win there. 18.2152 now I mean we need to get at least 170 barest minimum. Hopefully we can get a little bit more than that. I'll score 11 of 12. Once again, the strike rate is not looking good. Gone for it straight. That should be at least 4, I think, or maybe even 6. Nope. That has not even crossed the boundary line. How did he stop that? Once again, only 2 runs. Tosses the ball up again. Try to go straight. A little quicker through the air. Gets me on my pants. Are they going to review it? That looked pretty straight. And they are going to review it. Uh, let's see if impact saves me because I'm sure the, it is hitting the wickets. Impact is outside off. And wickets are hitting. Last ball of the 19th over. I'm just going to try to take a single here. Hopefully balls on my pads. Yes he does. But I get an outside edge on that ball. And I get another batsman run out. That is two for this innings. And I've only been at the crease for like five overs. I've taken more wickets than the Sri Lankan bowlers. Shot again. Tried to just punch it over. Covers and it fails miserably. He's been bowling that short ball over and over again. That was the only option really to try to loft it on the back foot. Does not work at all. Another lackluster innings with the bat. Hopefully we can make it up with the ball. There we go. Outside edge and four. He really tried to pelt that ball. And it flies away behind square for four. I'm going to try to come from around the wicket. Maybe I can get that ball to come back in sharply and get the stumps on the ground. Oh, my. And there we go. The thing I wanted has exactly happened. I wanted the stumps to lie on the ground, but this works as well. An in-swinger, full straight. He tries to go over extra cover. I don't know why. That was that was just too straight to do that. And look at that. That is one pretty side. We'll get our first wicket. And we've given away only 9 runs in the first over. That's pretty good. The bat and ball were about a meter away there. He just closed his eyes and swung. But of course it doesn't connect. And because of that, I give him a gift. A nice quick delivery on the pads. All he needed to do was get some bat on it. He'll do that and collect 4 runs. Sri Lanka need 52 of 33. We need wickets though because this is not going to be that hard for them. Especially if they keep batting like this. He's pulled a half volley and gets 4. How can you pull a ball like that? That was, Look at that. That was a half sweep, half pull. 
Oh, that came in with the angle, went for an in-swinger and he's just got enough to carry over the fence for six runs. Just a little too straight and he picks it away for six. Well, Sri Lanka have won this game and Kusal Pereira is the man of the match. They finished it off in 18.4 overs. The uh, 17th over must have been really expensive. I've come into bat. Once again, we are batting first. This time I have seven hole overs in the bank. Played it straight. That should be one at least, maybe two even. Yep, comfortable to there. That's kind of surprising. We've lost two wickets in that over. And now once again, they're going to just go all out with spin. And just annoy us. And he's just going to keep bowling that ball. A little too short to do anything about. I have to try to play on the back foot. And that never works in this game. Against spin at least. I need to get my strike rate up because even though I'm scoring like 10, 11 runs, which is which is not that bad because we're coming in so late, but I'm scoring out of 15 deliveries. Yeah, this will help. Just run twos as long as possible. Maybe get a boundary here or there. And we look good. A quick fire 25, 30 would be awesome. Short delivery. I pulled it and it works. But just a single. Tossed up, but that was a Tusra there. Cut away. I thought I'd beat that fielder. I don't know why he's cutting that. All he needs to do is open their face, and I would have probably gotten four. Oh, that was very slow in the air. Maybe turning a little too much. The umpire is certainly not going to give it out, but they are going to review it once again. Let's see if uh, something saves me here. That's pitching way outside off. The impact is going to save me. How is that hitting? And impact of course is outside off. Full toss. Have I got enough? That was a beamer. He's got it but I think he's gone outside the boundary line. And we'll get 6 runs. An absolutely atrocious ball. How is that not a no ball? It was just barely under my waist. 21 of 18. Tossed up again. Over extra cover. There's no one there so it should be safe at the least. But we'll get 6 runs. Hundred and ten meter hit. I don't think it was that big, but look at the strike rate now. Twenty-seven of nineteen. We still have two overs to go. That's been hit straight. I hope it's away from the fielder. Barely, and it bounces over his head and goes for four. Well, we'll take that. Another boundary. I'm almost scoring in board 180. 31 of 20. We still have 10 balls to go. Let's hope we can capitalize here. Try to go through extra cover. That looks straight as well. Maybe once again spinning too much. Now he's going to come from around the wicket. I'm going to try to go over extra cover. He gives me a little bit of room and it was full enough as well. And we've got just enough bat to clear extra cover and get four. This has been the best over in probably my entire career in T20s. Let's just keep going now. Where's the gap though? I just have to go straight probably. Let's see where he rolls. That's full straight. Ah, why was I so late? I just didn't decide what to do until the last possible mo moment and because of that I was a little too late, actually very late there and get my middle stump knocked over a much better innings than usual, 35 and now we've uh, come into bowl, 119 required of 69, Sri Lanka already have lost 4 wickets flaked, that should be a run out, that would have been a run out I mean, as soon as the fielder throws, you have no control of your player, so he's gonna do something dumb, that's for sure. Good delivery. And a dot ball. They've already lost four wickets. If they lose like one or two, the game is over right here. Can we be the uh, man to do the job? Comes back in sharp, I'm gonna peel, but I think it's a little too high. Full. It was there to be driven, but I don't know how he managed to edge that. That was very full. Just moving a little bit and gets the edge, but of course there's no protection there. Let's see if we can get the ball to come back in now. Uh, that has come back in. That's of course full enough, but maybe impact is outside off. I'm still going to review it. Pitching outside of, wow, that ball did not move at all. 
Or we can steal his umpire's call for some reason. But of course that review is gone. I thought the ball came in a lot sharper and of course it didn't. Oh yeah, it leaves him just a little. And perfect length as well and so fast. 99 still required but they managed to stick such a good partnership here haven't lost a wicket in some time even though they've been playing and missing edging the ball a lot getting hit on the pads well we won yet another series i only was given two overs in that entire spell we've won literally every game in that tour i think i don't think we lost anything at all i hope you enjoyed this one the next career mode episode will feature the mighty australians we're going up against them in a odi series so subscribe to stay tuned for now click the video on screen to see some scary fast bowling like comment and subscribe for more cricket 24 videos and updates thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are